Aha! So, Spelky here from Laserbeards. And here we've got a quick rundown of Redcon. It's basically an artillery base management game. Um, and okay, let's pause it. It's possible real time. So you can see my base and the enemy's base. And we've got um, mortars and a basilisk cannon. We've got an early warning system. <coughs> and we've got an active defense control that manages these two um, machine guns to try and take like a, like a point defense thing. Um, you click on a gun, you can target it, uh, any of the enemy's um, base sections. It tells you a percentage for hitting, like an accuracy percentage. Obviously if it's embedded in concrete, the percentage is a lot lower. Um, and you've got these little guys here. You can see I can highlight the little fella. Um, you can move them around the base, you can station them in different guns, um, repair guns, things like that. So let's just check what we've got. The uh, mortars on the back. And the front. And we'll just set, set it going. See how we get on. So we've got a twin mortar set. Drop in shells. You can see the health bar of the unit in the enemy space goes down. We missed that one. Um, each gun has a timer on it. This is reloading the shell. Right now we've got a couple of missiles coming in. Ultimately we've got to destroy these missiles and mortar. This is the base health. Um, to take that down. It's quite a fast paced game but the pausable real time means you can um, set up your shots, change your tactics mid, mid run and hopefully these this will take the missiles out. Because this looks like a, a neurotoxin, this looks like it could be incendiary. How are we doing? We don't seem to be making much progress. Okay, so we'll pause. Let's um, gang up. Okay, so both mop, so mop that mortars. Let's put them both in the same shell. Double shot. You can change the rounds so you've got shredder bombs and flash bombs on the mortars. Shredders will take out the men, um, and if you take out the men, they lose a certain amount of accuracy on the guns if they land the stations. Well, let's just see what goes. Ultimately, these are the um, uh, uh, armaments where they're passing the, the shells up to these uh, missile silos. We would be totally screwed if we didn't have these point defense cannons. Um, <clears throat> this early warning system tells us this red outline tells us which um, which portion of our base is being currently targeted, and uh, these this uh, screen control room is, is um, controlling the point defense cannons. Now, if I pause it. We'll. We've taken out this back shell um, missile silo, so we should um, change our, our focus to move it to the forward shells. Maybe set that mortar at some point, but let's skip. See what happens. We're still hitting that back one. We're still hitting the back one. Oh no, maybe that was it. Oh, nice. So you can see here. I'll keep pausing um, to explain things. You, you can see we've hit the neurotoxin uh, missile base, and that's gone up. So any men, any enemy uh, engineers come into this, they'll they'll start to die quickly, which is always a good sign. So we can now shift this mortar, 
onto that one, and that one onto that one. What I'll do is, if you've noticed, um, there's two enemy blokes sorting of things out the back. So if we put that shell on there, hopefully it'll destroy them. So it's a very simple concept. Um, later on in the game, the uh, bases get quite involved. They've got a lot of different um, stations, lots of different ways of attacking each other. Um, and hopefully, that will give you a brief taste of what it's like. Um, I'm afraid it's not as complex as later on in the game, but I had to reset the game to show you the, some simple early stuff, um, otherwise I'd be there for about half an hour bashing away. So thank you for watching, and come listen to the Laserbeards podcast, and this was one of the gems of the week that we mentioned on the podcast, our first one. Cheers my dears.